Welcome to Hostmate. With all our hosting plans, you can host several domains on the one account. So this tutorial is about how to add another domain or a new domain to your cPanel account. A new domain which is going to be separate to the primary cPanel account domain which is this one here and a domain which can have its own email accounts and website. So the first thing we do is we scroll down to the domain section here and click on domains. Here you'll see the primary domain is listed with its web folder, its document root, which is public underscore HTML. That is the main folder, or the main web folder for the primary domain of a cPanel account. So to start adding our new domain, we click on create a new domain, which is here. Then in this first field, we enter our new domain, awesome domain. Dot XYZ. This is my demo domain. And then under here, the document root, we want to tick off share document root. The reason being, if we don't, this new domain is going to share the same folder as the primary domain, which is public underscore HTML, which we don't want. So let's tick that off. And cPanel will auto fill in what the folder name will be which is going to be the same as the domain name. You can change that, but it's easiest to leave it. It's easily identifiable then in the file manager. And under here is the subdomain. This is just a requirement by cPanel when adding a new domain. You can just ignore that, just leave it. Click Submit. And this will take us back to the domains list. And you can see our new domain has been added and the new document root folder has been created. Now for this domain to work, this domain needs to be pointed at the same name servers of this hosting account, which is on this server. Now the name servers point a domain to a specific place, which in this case is our web hosting server. So if your domain is registered with us, you can log into our website to find out what these name servers are and update them if needed. So go to services, my services, and then click on manage. This is the hosting account or the hosting plan details and you'll see the name servers are listed here. There's usually two. So if your domain is registered to us, go to Domains, My Domains, and then for your new domain, click Manage. Then over here, click Name Servers in the left menu. Now as you can see, the name servers for my domain are already set correctly, the same as the hosting. But if yours are different, then click use custom name servers, enter the domains and click change name servers. Now that change can take a few minutes to a few hours. It needs to propagate through the internet so if your site's not loading, your new domain isn't loading straight away, just just wait, check back later. And if your domain is not registered with us, you'll need to do this same process where you registered the domain at the current provider. They'll have a similar interface to this. So let's go back to cPanel and there's one more thing we want to do before we check this domain is working in the browser. Go back to the cPanel homepage and we want to check the SSL has been installed. So we scroll down to the security section here, click on SSL TLS status and this is the SSL page. Now the SSL cannot install until the domain has propagated and pointing to this server. So ours is. And if we go over here, we can see that our domain has a green padlock button. Now that's great. That means the SSL has been installed. 
And if that was red, it means it's not installed yet. Which means you can go to this button, Run Auto SSL. Click on that, and that'll uh, try and install the SSL. It needs to be authorized by the provider and then installed. And that can't be done until the domain is pointing to the hosting account because the SSL provider needs to authenticate and check that the domain is legitimate and hosted correctly. So after you click this, you can refresh this page because this button can take a few minutes, but often uh, the SSL is installed before this button finishes loading. So now that's done, we know the SSL has been installed. Let's just go back to the CPAL homepage. And what we want to do now is check our domain in the is working in the web browser. So let's go to an open web browser and we want to test the SSL. So we type in HTTPS, the S is for the SSL, colon forward slash forward slash awesome domain dot XYZ. Now hit enter. There you go. You see the padlock, that means the SSL has been installed and the page is secure. And this is just the default index page for a new, newly installed domain. So we know our domain has been installed and the page is working and SSL is all good. So now we can go back to cPanel and start doing our work. You can either begin by adding email accounts for the new domain. You will click create and you'll see in this drop box your new domain is listed. You select that and you can enter a new email address, password, click create and you can add as many emails as you as you need. And then if we go back to the cPanel homepage you can then install WordPress on your new domain. Now you can either just click this button here, WordPress Manager by Softaculous, or you can scroll down the software section and click the same button here. That'll load Softaculous. And click Install, and you'll see again your domain is listed. Your new domain, select that fill out the details here and click install and that will install your new WordPress installation on your new domain so if you want to go back to cPanel after that just click CP at the top here and you can continue with your work so that is how you add a new domain to your cPanel account and you can add several on each of our hosting plans and all you need to do is get yourself a new domain, set the name servers, add the new domain, install the SSL, start creating email accounts, and install WordPress. And that is how you add a new domain to cPanel.